Hello and welcome to the gallery. My name is Jon and today we are painting war dogs. Now we've been busy painting up Balakor and uh, Big Space Marine for the past few weeks and it's time to go back to my heretical roots and paint something to go along with this here big knight. Now Big Macs are fun to paint but building an army just of Big Macs is quite a difficult task so let's paint up some smaller Big Macs. And here we have them, the war dogs, four of them actually and we're gonna paint them up really quickly. I had them before and I started painting them earlier and and I just went over it again with black to start from scratch because I wasn't feeling the paint job I already had on them. But it has a little bit of texture underneath because of the previous paint job. And that's fine because they're going to be grimy and gritty. Start out with black, then let belcher metallic and then silver on top of that as a zenithal metallic feel to it. Then I just give it a quick squirt of high gloss varnish because we are going to have fun with oil washes yet again. And here we go, just a simple black oil wash, quite thin one this time around, and go over everything to just give it a little bit of a texture and a little bit of feel to it. Like I said, this is going to be a quick paint job because I could spend days, even weeks, painting these four guys up. So they got a lot of detail, but I actually just don't feel like it. I want to do them quick, I want to do them dirty. It's not a centerpiece of an army, even though this is just an army with nothing but centerpieces, but out of everything, these guys definitely aren't the centerpieces. So just glob the oil wash on them everywhere, and then we're gonna have a little bit of fun with contrast paints mainly, because we're having fun and a little bit shiny, but a lot of dirt on them. Now at this point, it seems fair to mention there are buttons underneath the video to press, you know, the like, the share, the subscribe, the little bell thing, it's all very nice. They are good to press and I highly recommend them. But the oil washes finish up and we put on a little bit of gold. This is Orc Armor Gold, but I use it because it has a light tone to it. It's quite kind of a pale gold, but it goes on quite dreadfully. It's not great over the gloss varnish that is still a little bit underneath. And you need many layers if you want to get a full opaque layer, but I really didn't want them. So I just put three, four layers and got kind of a slapstick layer on it. Afterwards, we're using the Griff Charger Contrast Paint and we're putting that over everything that's supposed to be colored. Both the gold and the actual armor plating that we're going to make a little bit more greeny later on. And after I finished up that, we just throw down more of the green contrast paint and it becomes sort of a bluey green feel to it. This is mixed 50-50 with contrast medium and that lets a little bit of the old Griff Charger come through, but still not too much. Over the gold bits, a little bit of watered down nylog oxide. It's maybe two parts water, one part nylog oxide, so it flows really well into all of the crevices and everything. Have to watch out that it doesn't pull too much, and we put that everywhere there's gold. And then watered down skeletal hoard. I'm not watered down, not with medium because then it becomes more splotchy. And we put that on the underside and near the gears just to make it a little bit more dirty and grimy quick dry brush of uh, Runefang steel over the most extreme corners of both the gold and the bluey green thing not on the actual undercarriage we still want that just grimy and then we put silver in the eye lenses and on the top hatch a little bit of dragon of nightshade on the end of the guns to give the powder that heat feel that they've bloomed a little bit two layers of that and it looks quite good. Throw down a little bit of red contrast paint in the eye and in the top lens, uh, top uh, window, just to break up the monotony a little bit. 
And of course, the model didn't have skulls, so I added skulls because Games Workshop and skulls, and they didn't actually have skulls on this one. Just a little bit of light color and then skeletal horde on top of it. Old skulls, not that much highlighting on them. And like I said, quick paint job. Throw down some character stone on the ground, which had texture beforehand, so we're just using the same texture. It's watered down to seep into the texture, so two layers, maybe three, to get uh, some sort of opaque feel to it. And it's fine if it goes into the legs, because they are walking in the damn thing, so of course their legs are going to get dirty. A little bit of dark grey on the rocks. And then we're going to throw Agrax Doom contrast paint over all the ground, over the rocks, and up the legs. And it all mixes very well together and becomes a cohesive whole. But of course, this darkens it quite a lot, so quick dry brushing of character stone over everything again, draw, tying it even more together, both the legs, the ground, the rock, everything it ties up. And blood for the blood god on the change world, because this is chaos, it's supposed to be a little bit brutal, and it's a nice poppy color on top of everything else. And two of the models doesn't have, don't have change sword, so we put that near the leg just to have the same poppy color on everything black rim on the bases, and these models are done. It's a really quick paint job, but quite fun to do, and you can see it done in a couple of days. And there we have them. Four war dogs to come with my big knight. And you know what? I'm kind of happy with them. They're simple but eloquent in their disturbing way. And now I have a thousand point army of knights, which is fun. Thank you very much for joining me here today. There are links in the description for all kinds of stuff. Social media, Patreon, all kinds of stuff. You do with it what you will. Like, share and subscribe and whisper it into the darkness. But until next time, farewell. <laughs>